ranks fifth in the nation when it comes to insurance rates and a new study shows drivers who spend very little time on the road are hit with the very same rates as those who rack up the miles and new tonight taking action reporter Jackie Calloway takes a look at what goes into how much you pay and how to save money on your next renewal. On average, Floridians are paying $1,800 a year to cover our rides. I'm literally driving on eggshells. <laughs> Drivers everywhere can't figure out how insurance companies come up with the rates we all pay. It was for having a license plate light missing. Shania said her carrier raised her rates for a malfunctioning light and not updating the address on her license. These rates just don't make sense. Bill Newton with the Florida Consumer Action Network points to a, a recent study by the Consumer Federation. It indicates progressive and farmers charge the same rates to someone who drives 2,500 miles a year versus someone who drives 22,000 miles a year. In setting rates, insurers seem to put more weight on personal characteristics like marital status and credit score than to risk indicators like miles driven. The further you drive, the more you're on the road, well, the more dangerous it is, right? In another study, the Consumer Federation found GEICO charged young female drivers more than young male drivers. Why? Well, we don't know. Here are four quick ways you can reduce your premiums. Number one, ask your agent about bundling your home and auto policy for a discount. Also, you can have your deductible increase. That will lower your rates. And always ask about non-driving related discounts. And last, if you do ever happen to get a ticket, take that safe driver course. When it comes to checking rates, you want to go with an independent agent who writes through multiple carriers and can provide multiple quotes. Jackie Calloway taking action for you.